She was amazing. <laughs> Hello everybody, good morning. I'm Gib Ojisan and... Hey guys, Ruben Danovich here. So I'm really excited today because... Oh man. We're visiting one of the most grand condos in Singapore, exactly. right? Exactly. And you know, we are right in the heart of the CBD today. In fact, it's quite interesting that we say heart because this place that we're in right now is actually called the Green Heart. Right, so this is the Marina One Residences. Mm -hmm. We're going to be checking out a crazy penthouse today, okay. over 8,000 square feet. But just before that, we want to show you the space, talk a little bit more about the area. There are a couple of retail spaces, uh, event spaces, so we're going to get right. to that. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we're just walking up right now above the Green Heart. Mm. So the Green Heart is about 65,000 square feet large. It doesn't feel like a CBD thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> so many greens. So beautiful here. Exactly. Yeah. There are over there just below 400 different species of flora in this area. Wow. So you can just imagine the amount of effort and work that was put. Mm. Oh, and actually, I see like a mini waterfall over there. That's, yeah. that's beautiful. Three stories of waterfall. It's a gorgeous aesthetic. But perhaps what's more important is that it adds a lot of element of coolness to the space. Right, right. It can right. get pretty warm in sunny Singapore, right? So that just helps. Ah, yeah. It's cool important. The space down. All right, so just to share a little bit more of the, uh, about the project details before we head on to the rest of the facilities. This TOP'd in 2017. So Pretty new. Relatively new, about mm. three years on the market. We got some resale units going on okay. right now, uh, SSD and whatnot. It was built by the developers MNS. Essentially an integrated development of sorts. Sure. Right, so it, it combines uh, retail, you get 140,000 square feet of retail. Wow. You get quite a bit of office spaces as well. Ah, there's even offices. Yeah, so those two towers behind actually, yeah. they go up to the 30 stories. Mm. And then just behind that, you get the residential space. So that's up to the 34 right. Right, story. Right. Total units, you could be surprised. It comes in at about 1,024 units. 1,024. Insane. Wow. <laughs> uh, so that's split into two evenly. You get a mix of one to four bedders here and a penthouse unit. Right, right, right. This development is a 99 year lease for development. So mm. not freehold, unfortunately, but that's just the drawback that you get for right. an area like that. All right, let's go check out the rest of our facilities. Right, so just inside somewhere there is the mm. concierge. Over there. Uh, again, this is split into two towers, so you get two different concierges, but again, exactly identical. And then just over on this end, on the same floor, you get gym. this massive gym. Wow, it's, it's so spacious. It's really inside. spacious. Most of the time, when you, I think one of the wow. things that are lacking for condos is the gym yeah, sizes, it's, it's, right? It's lacking a serious gym, exactly. right? But just just having a look from here, you can Look see, at all the machines. Yeah, machines, free weights, um, treadmills, nice view as well. Right, right. And you know, if this is not enough. You have, you literally have Virgin Active, which is just 10 seconds walk away, right there, like yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a nice thing about again living with a commercial space right, right below you. Hey, Ruben, what's that? Ah, okay. It's a little bit hard to explain now, but Tara, why don't let's go check out the rest of the facilities? I'll share a little bit more about what that actually is, in just a bit. Enjoying the greenery, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You know, one thing I realized about most condos is that developers tend to overhype the green spaces. Mm. So usually they're like, oh man, this is really beautiful, we have this and that, but it turns out to be quite small. Yeah. In this case, however, I think the developers have over-delivered. So, <laughs> gorgeous. Which is, which is a good thing. It's always a good thing. Wow. We have like a forest. And, yeah. And, and then you get the water cascading down. Yeah. And there's a few ponds. Yeah. And you know, even on that note as well, if you see the loom over here, Mm. So that essentially blocks out a lot of uh, the sun's glare to right. units here. And just on that note, this place is very environmental friendly. Mm. For one, it actually won the Platinum Mark Award. Okay. So that's like the top tier greenery award that you can win if you're a developer in right. Singapore. And that's because they actually collect rainwater at the top. So when rainwater comes down, they use oh. it for irrigation, they use it to, uh, in the toilets as well. And just simple things like motion sensor uh, lights at the staircases mm. and the public toilets in the offices. So it's all been really well thought through. And like um, that. you see all these little touches which the developers have you know, mm. really added in here. Like all right, we're here. Marina One Residences. So we're here at the concierge. How, how do you feel? <laughs> Very premium, very premium. It feels almost like a hotel. A hotel, yeah. yeah. You like, the, the staff are wearing suits. Suits and masks. And masks. <laughs> I mean, like, check okay. this out. Very grand, very premium, nice. marble flooring. That's beautiful. You actually yeah. even have that little model here of the entire space. Ah, right, 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 right. It's quite interesting. Cool. All right, let's head up to the pool right now. So we just got to the third floor. 
So this is essentially a continuation of the facilities. The first thing that greets you when you walk out is essentially this green space. Wow, nice! And quite a few uh, water areas. So let me just show you what I So, for example, right here, you get your... What is this? Kids play area. Oh, kids play area. Yeah, so it's very shallow. shallow, you know. Uh, there are a couple of benches on the side as well for parents mm. to watch them. That's, that's also a kids pool. Yeah. Uh. It's very zen, you know. It's shaded from the sun. You get a little bit of breeze coming in as well. I mean, the, the whole environment is pretty... It, it feels unreal, kind of futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. Yeah. In fact, the, Where there, am was, I? there was a mm. TV series that was shot here. Westworld, I believe. That Westworld? Was, yeah, do, do you know oh, it? Oh, yeah, I know. Yes, I think one of the episodes featured this place. Oh, it's totally Westworld. Yeah. So just next to the kids' pool, you get this lab pool. Uh, right now, obviously, it's limited to just 15 people at one time because mm. of the COVID measures. But if you actually look inside, so you can actually see the holes over there. Okay. You know how when we were below just now, we looked up and we saw the oh, water that's facade. that's so cool. So you can yep. look down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially. People can look up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> what we saw cool. just now downstairs, remember? Awesome. Yeah. And I like how you can kind of, this, this part is shallow. So yeah. You can, you can sit here, lay yeah. down yeah. even maybe. It's a lot easier to get out as well. Wow. Uh, we're not going to show the entire lab just for the privacy of the guests here. Yeah. So we're just going to try and keep it to this side. Mm -hmm. There are also some cabanas on that end. Right. <sighs> Pretty comfy. Get a get a view of the pool, and this is the view from my cabana. Pretty nice. Pretty zen. So it's quite interesting to know that this is all just mm. on one level, one level of facilities, the third floor. And uh, right here again, next to the uh, lab pool, if you walk in for a little bit, you get this aqua pool. Aqua. Oh, cool! It's like an aqua gym. Right? Aqua gym. Yeah. I mean, we've spoken about this so many times. Not the biggest fan of aqua gyms. I've seen, I've seen no one using it. Yeah, <laughs> I've never seen anyone. Really but the nice thing is that, can you imagine just being inside there pedaling? And then looking up. Yeah. And Ruben, check it out. We even have a jacuzzi here. Yep. Not just one, but two. So there's just one on the other end as well. Just to show you the rest of the facilities mm. here. Uh, you also get the potting green. Which is just around Putting the green, okay. Uh, a couple other things, wellness sanctuary, potting green, there's even a tempanyaki grill as well. Oh nice. This is the this is like a mini golf course, isn't it? I like it, I like it. It's very nature naturistic. <laughs> naturistic. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to uh, entertain your guests maybe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, I think it's good for for little kids as well. So right across the potting green you have I guess you could call this the Tepanyaki Terrace. Tepanyaki. Uh, that's, that's what they call it anyway. It's unmovable, so it's obviously cemented into wow. the floor. And that's a grill, right? Yeah. It's Whoa, grill, you, know. you can DIY your Tepanyaki. This is massive. Pretty cool. Yeah. Apart from that, you get your usual sink as well. This is a little bit of a barbecue pit, right? So you can obviously do your roast, you can smoke as well. Awesome. The view, as you can see, is might not be the best, but there's enough space to host your friends. So on the other end, uh, we get some outdoor fitness facilities. So We've already seen the gym, mm. which is sizable. But here you get, I think, just a couple of machines. Oh, nice, uh, nice. To play with. It's, it's actually well, well made, actually. Yeah, and the views here, I feel a little bit nicer in the sense. Mm. You can actually have a look at Marina Bay. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You yeah. can actually see gardens by the way from here. Just a little oh, bit of so it. Oh, that's so nice. The Esplanade. And so, the Marina Bay Sands, right? Uh, sorry, Marina Bay Sands, yeah. Marina Bay Sands, yeah. the garden by the Bay area. Over here on this side, I mean, if you have kids, obviously, they're going to enjoy this space. It's not the biggest. It's secluded, it's private mm. in the sense. I would say it's pretty minimalistic, right? Yeah. This and, but, but we have something like this. More options for your kids. How do you play this? <laughs> oh, oh, the car the moves. Car <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, and this. That's my red car. You know, I Ooh, actually like we that, can race. Uh, I like what the developers did with the place. I mean, they didn't have too much facilities to play with. About 65,000 of square feet was really dedicated to the green area. Right, right. 140,000 square feet of retail area. So, well, they couldn't really implement too many facilities. What they did was they staggered it. So they put it on the second floor, the third floor. Although it's a small space, by including things like that, you just definitely add diversity to the space, which is, again, very thoughtful from the developers. <laughs> okay, dude, let's go, man. Yeah. Where are we going like next? Like for reals. <laughs> where are we going next? We're, we're actually heading to the penthouse. Right? But yeah, so we're going to head uh, up to the penthouse. Yeah. It's something that we've definitely been looking forward to for some time. So let's go oh. check it out. Let's go to the 33rd floor. We're going to check out the penthouse now. Penthouse. Right now we're in this lobby area. Hmm. This is where the, the main bedroom. area is. I'll, I'll tell you more about where the bedrooms are in a bit. Wow. But yeah, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> out, man. Whoa. 
when you walk in, I mean, you see like, wow. the ocean, you know. That's Sentosa, right? That's Sentosa right there, yeah. Wow, where, where, should, we, where should we check out first? Like, this place, <laughs> apparently it's so huge. Okay, so I think let's start with the rest right. of the living area first. Okay. Uh, we'll gradually go into the kitchen and I'll show you guys like the rest of the, right. the areas in just a bit. Just to perhaps give a little bit more context uh -huh. about the place. So okay. the penthouse is 8,697 square feet. <laughs> so we've got a lot of things to film. <laughs> now let's get a move All on. right, yeah, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so we have a piano here, a beautiful piano. This is the where, where you chill with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously you see it's very lengthy furniture. Mm. Right? Even like that piano that you mentioned earlier, right? So yeah. not everyone's going to be using a grand piano. Mm. You can even pop mm. the TV, you can see the TV outlet somewhere there. Oh, it's over there. Right, so, right, right. Wow. This place is huge. So you can kind of play around with your furniture. Uh, you could put it like a TV, you can have more maybe tables over there. This is actually, so I thought this was cloth initially, but this is Sorry, metal. it was rice noodles. This is actually metal. It's, an, it's actual metal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Well, it's such a unique structure. I don't think we've seen anything like this. This isn't the only chandelier of sorts. You get this two over there as yeah, well. It's so beautiful. I think it's been very tastefully designed. Right. Quirky, I would say. Mm. Right. Mm. Different mm. from most penthouses where you get it like super elegant. This is a bit more playful. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can tell. With all the artworks as well on the walls. And this is a dining table. It can comfortably fit around 10, I guess. 10 ish, yeah. And if it's not enough, you can put more table over here or you can even dine here. Definitely, this place yeah. is huge, yeah. You can play around with the layouts, you know, bring things around. So let me just show you a little bit more about the dry kitchen. So again, everything here is by Mille, whatever you can think of, whether it's mm. the grill, electric stove, you even get your exhaust over here. Essentially everything, you get your coffee machine, you get your microwave oven. And on top of that, you get plenty of storage spaces. Even these, right? Even this is storage, you get all wow. this. Plenty of spaces. I'm guessing it's the fridge. Yeah, it's and concealed it's, fridge. It's not just one fridge. Wow, that's huge, man. It's two. <laughs> so this you is get insane. This, and then you get this like a freezer. Of you, can, you can start a business. Yeah, I mean, I, I could live in there, man. <laughs> <Are you good? laughs> now, also on the left is the, the wine chiller. Wine chiller, yeah. This is also pretty yeah, huge. Exactly. And if you just zoom out, so obviously we're, we're quite inside now, but mm. if you just zoom out and you, you took, took a look at this entire space from that end, you would just see how massive the amount of facility, uh, amenities there. Uh, yeah. Kitchen. Easily imagine myself cooking here yeah. and checking out what's happening at the living room with my, with my kids, even watch the TV and even we have a great view on the left. I mean, it's definitely where you want to be when you're cooking for your wife, just to yeah. show her that hey, you know, doing something. <laughs> it's important. It's important. <laughs> nice. So this is essentially the view that you get from the kitchen. Uh, it's the first balcony. The other balcony is just along there. Oh, there. It's not the biggest of spaces, but it's definitely a lovely view of the ocean. Yeah. We have some of the pot over here, which at some point is going to be converted, I believe, uh, rezoned for the GSW, the Greater Southern Waterfront. Okay, okay. That's the MCE. So, for those of you guys who drive, it's really accessible, both the MCE, uh, the East Coast Parkway, as well as just down the road. Right. All right but you know, Gib, it's interesting because this isn't mm. the only view you're going to be getting. As we get through the unit, there are going to be other views as well, even of the interior. Oh, cool. So, I mean, as we, as we go in, I'll, I'll show you what, what I mean. All right. Earlier, we had the dry kitchen where you kind of show off. But this is where most of the heavy duty cooking is done. Wow, <laughs> this is pretty huge, it's right? This is, man, yeah. Wow. So over here, you have another fridge again by Mille, which... Another fridge. You you wouldn't expect to, to have another fridge in that sense. You get like the massive fridge there and then you get another yeah. fridge. You also get your washer and your dryer. Uh, and oh, there's sink over there for hand washing. And plenty of space where you just put your food and yeah. your ingredients. A little kitchen island wow. over there. And on the left, we have the stove, mm -hmm. even Grill. a griller. Yeah, pretty rare to find grillers. On top of that as well, it's going to be very convenient, especially if you're for me because of this. Cute room. It's cute, right? And <laughs> there's, a, there's a window. <laughs> it's, it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, so cute here. Like in because more often than not, when you go into the main, main room, it feels very dark, yeah, very claustrophobic dark. sometimes. Uh, so it's a little bit of a bigger space. Uh, you get light coming in. And you can really nice. be thoughtful of the space. You know, you could obviously add a bed mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. cool. I'm getting a little bit hungry now the kitchen. Let's go check out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before we head up, I want to show you what is perhaps the biggest pottery room that I've ever seen in my life. Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's massive. And 
Is that a Toto? Toto. Is that a Toto? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> False advertising. <laughs> Looks pretty good though. Yeah, it's, it's premium it's brand. Obviously auto uh, automated. Check out what Ruben found. Yeah, and just one other little thing. Uh, if you have kids, I know. My kids love this. Wow, it, it's like a <laughs> it's like <laughs> Harry Potter. And like you come in and you could definitely design this little space. Oh man, I'm not a kid, but it's it, it's making me excited. Just having like this little, uh, little sloping group of thoughts. Yeah, for the yeah. Kids. It has an attic feel, kind of. Thing. Definitely, yeah. I think this is just the beginning. Let, let's let's go upstairs. Yeah. Oh. Wow. This is pretty cool. It's, it's like we have a, another living room. Yeah, kind of. and this is where I would think you would probably have your wine cellar. Look on the right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you did get your barbecue pit as well. You're so awesome. So that's something you, you don't usually get in uh, most units or even it's not something that's in pen, most penthouses, but right here you get this barbecue pit. Barbecue pit. <laughs> and I, I will grill my meat every day. Yeah. Here, wow. You can have like a mini yeah. bush here. Yeah, and it's not just a bush that you have, you have a mini oh, pool as well. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> so you have both a bush and a pool and a barbecue pit. You already saw the swimming pool downstairs. You know, it's a very nice space yeah. with all the towers around. And if that was crowded, you could just casually pop up to get a more private space. Definitely. You could have a mojito over here. <laughs> Enjoy the view. Imagine how this would look at night. Oh, it's going be beautiful. Still amazing. <laughs> and when you're done with swimming, you have this. Wow. Huh? <laughs> Is this really a shower? It's a shower slash sauna. Sauna, so yeah. You have your very own sauna. The spa on the yeah. second floor of your penthouse. How cool is that? Wow, this is so cool. Uh, Ruben, where are the bedrooms? Uh, I didn't oh, okay, check it that's, out. that's quite an interesting point. So remember earlier when we stepped out of the lobby mm -hmm. and how I told you that, okay, we're going to check out this side of the unit first and then we'll go to the other side? It's on the other side. Yes, so in that sense, you have like this entire space to entertain, to come up here to wow. enjoy your pool, your barbecue. And then yeah, I see. you have a private living area for the bedrooms. That's so cool. Right here. Let's go. All right. So, so just going back to the lobby again. So again, that was your lift. Right here. So this is actually your service area. So again, this is where your delivery men come if you order. Right, food. right. Uh, you can come from here, it's a public lift there. Oh, cool. So and this is the this residential side. This is where side. you live, essentially. This is where you live. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we have another living room. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. So this, I, I would guess, would be a lot cozier as you get ready to, to wind down for the night. It's a little bit smaller. In total, there are four bedrooms, right? Mm. So for a penthouse this big, you know, if I were to tell you that, hey, there are only four bedrooms here, you'd be like, what? Penthouse, four bedrooms? Yeah. But let me show you what it actually looks like. Okay. So first things first, you get a really long corridor. I'll show you the room at the first, for this end. Mm. This is your junior master. Junior master. So it comes. Oh, it's pretty. It's, it's spacious. Really, yeah, and the first thing you see is this walk-in wardrobe or sock-in wardrobe, which then leads into your toilet. Toilet, which is pretty spacious as well. Wow, yeah, it's like an L-shaped toilet. Which you don't often get this, so it's kind of it's you know, kind of hidden yeah. from from over there. And this is the bedroom. Yeah, pretty spacious. Wow, huh? king size bed, plenty of very storage. spacious and uh, sorry, plenty of. Space, space here. here. Yeah. On a usual scenario, you would have your wardrobe here, right? Mm -hmm. Because there's mm -hmm. a walk-in wardrobe over there. So you just get a lot more space to play around. Yeah. Wow, and of course you have your own balcony. It's not facing the, the big roads. Exactly, you wouldn't want your bedroom to be next to a highway or the MC or construction. Right. Can, we, can we check it out? Yeah, let's go have a look. Yeah, it's, it's way more quiet. The design is very nice. The next bedroom. This is actually the first common bedroom. Again, mm. it, it feels relatively spacious. If you wanted to put a king size bed, you would probably be able to do that as well. Yeah, you don't have a, a balcony, unfortunately, mm. but you do have a huge window. Windows, nice high ceilings, and as usual, ducted. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Yeah. So this is your sliding wardrobe, two, two panel. Should be more than sufficient. Over here, what's perhaps more interesting is that it's a very lengthy Jack and Jill bar. Oh, so it connects to the other room. Exactly. Right? Let's, let's oh, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Nice hot and off shower area. Yeah. 
so nothing gets wet. What does this lead to? Is it the other bedroom? Yeah, so this is the other common bedroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really doesn't feel much like a common bedroom. As you can see, they included the study area as well. Yeah, so they really maximize the space in the sense. Very spacious. So let's go check out the master bedroom. Cool. So first thing walking in. There's even a sofa. <laughs> even a sofa. Because why not, right? I mean, if, so spacious. if your spouse wants to have the entire bed to herself, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep on the sofa. But yeah, I mean, you get a balcony as well. Really spacious. And what I really like about this place is just the general ID, the, the interior. So you get this nice blue. I like the color. Right? The nice color. Faded blue. Blue, brown, green. Yeah. Then you get a little of metal here. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah. But before I show you the balcony, there's a little hideaway that Ooh, I want to notice this. So you see a lot of loops and crannies. Is it a walking wardrobe? It's your walking wardrobe. Wow. <laughs> which connects to the toilet, which exactly. is also humongous. It's massive. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just look at the wardrobe. Both sides, mm -hmm. plenty of storage. And very private as well. Yeah, right. True, so, true. And your buff. <laughs> well, let's check it out. <laughs> if you go here, we have a shower with uh, the rain shower, which is pretty cool. It's actually an in built rain shower. Yeah, it is, it is. So this is the balcony. You notice how it suddenly sounds a lot noisier? Yeah, sound because the soundproof is amazing. Yeah. And it, it's so spacious. Like right now, they only have one one table and one chair, but you can do so much more. Absolutely. It could be a lovely romantic evening in your El Fresco set there. Definitely. And perhaps one final tidbit before we head to the conclusion is this little staircase right here. Dude, we have a, <laughs> a spiral staircase leading yeah. to, I don't know yet. Wanna check it out? Yeah. Check it out. Interesting spiral like structure. Only you get like a straight pillar, but this is, mm. again, you can see it's elegantly designed. Oh, cool. So, a little bit of construction work's going on, understandably. What I wanted to show you is this little jacuzzi right here. Oh, nice. The jacuzzi. <laughs> so, I mean, you get your nice little wooden board area, which is very comfortable on the bare feet, right? Get a nice place to chill over there. Unfortunately, there isn't a view, per yeah. se, but it certainly makes it a lot more private, especially considering that, you know, you're overlooking other residentials. True, well. true, true. So you can kind of chill in a jacuzzi after enter entertaining your guests at the other side around at the pool. Yeah, very thoughtful. And well designed. All right, so we've come to the end of the tour. We've seen a massive 8,697 mm. square feet penthouse. So it's gorgeous. Gorgeous <laughs> place. We've seen some incredible architecture. Gip, my friend, what do you think of this place? I mean, if you are working at the Marina Bay Financial District. Oh yeah, just on the corner. Definitely an option. Like, yeah. It's so nearby. And of course, it's the architecture itself is so beautiful. But what I like is the lifestyle you can kind of get if you live here, right? Okay. You have so many restaurants, so many eateries, even hawker centers, and you can even jog around Marina Bay. Exactly. Which is so nice. Definitely. And you know, it's, when you were talking about working in the financial district, mm. so a good large number of the unit mix here are actually one bed is. Right, right, right. So most of the time investors come in, they buy a unit and mm. then they rent it out to people to stay in. And just on that note as well, one bedders here are approximately for about 1.4 to 1.6 million. Okay. So a lot more expensive than your usual one bedders, mm. but it's also because the units are a lot bigger. Right. So right. the one bedders are about 600 to 700 square feet, which is massive. Yeah. Most of the time when you think one bedders, <laughs> 400, 500. That's so big. Yeah. And I think another point as well is it's incredibly convenient transport-wise. Right. And it's not just because we're in the center, it's also because we are next to two MRT stations mm. and with the third one coming up. Coming up. Right. So it's wow. Marina Bay, so mm. north-south, you also get a circle line that both of them together and then you get the Thompson East Line also with the same uh, Marina Bay station mm. name coming up. Very convenient. And if that's not enough, just a couple of minutes walk behind is actually the downtown MRT station. Right, right. That's the right. downtown line, the blue line. If I were to think of any cons, um, and as always, we, we try to be as opinionated as possible, mm. I would think that education would be an issue. So obviously, if you have uh, younger kids, that's going to be fine because you have some preschools in the area, uh, you've got a couple of primary schools and secondary schools within a 10-minute drive. Mm. But as you get higher, once you get into the tertiary levels, I think that's an issue that a lot of central developments tend to suffer from. Right. Uh, you don't get many universities, mm. NUS, NTUs, all the way in the West. So just something to consider. Consider. Yeah. Right. Right. Anyways, that is all. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and do we have an editorial for this? Absolutely. Yes. In fact, uh, more than that, we have a really in-depth review. We did that a couple of months ago. It's down in the description box below. So if you want to know a little bit more about Marina One residences, 
that's where you can find it. Thank you for watching. See you See again. Bye-bye.